If we take a close look and examine the Skywalker Saga, there's a lot of qualities within each and every trilogy, especially within the prequels and the originals. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, looking at the sequel trilogy, like I say, as much as I really do criticize them as films by Disney, it does indeed have its moments. Like for example, when we go ahead and take a look at The Force Awakens, I personally feel that the very ending of the movie was quite legendary. Having Luke Skywalker standing on the edge of the cliff, turning around and looking at Rey, giving us an open gateway to a lot of fantasies as to exactly what was going to happen with Luke in The Last Jedi, what he sounds like as a person, exactly what was he going to do, all those crazy things before The Last Jedi even released and just after The Force Awakens came out, it left a lot of mystery. The fans were very mystified. It's moments like that in the sequel trilogy when you look back at them, it does have its moments. I'm not saying that the sequel trilogy is anywhere near as, as good as the prequels of the originals. However, Disney CEO Bob Chapek is making major changes to all the new, of course, Star Wars projects that are actually currently being implemented for Disney+, Plus, but also to the other Star Wars trilogies that have been around for a very long time, such as the originals and the prequels, and they also plan to make major changes to the sequel trilogy as well in the near future. Now, this concerns the prequel trilogy era by creator George Lucas and exactly what Disney plans to do to provide major retcons to the prequel trilogy era of Star Wars. Now, with that being said, of course, now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are primarily focused on reuniting the Star Wars fans around the world, they are also fully invested with their new Star Wars universe in general and exactly how that will actually come into fruition for the fandom to witness or make Star Wars as successful as it can be. Now, it's explained that Disney CEO Bob Chapek has a major plan in order to reset many aspects of the Skywalker saga for the fans to actually perceive the films in a far different way than ever before. Now, it's noted that one of the key plans is to reset the prequel trilogy that will change some of the canon material in order to expand the current Star Wars lore for the fans. It's described that one major retcon that is set to take place will include that it was Tor Valum's idea to destroy the Jedi and to implement the concept of Order 66 to Palpatine personally, and that he guided Palpatine on how to do this. It's said that the events of Order 66 and the foundation of it all stems from Tor Valum, an ancient Sith Lord who has wanted the destruction and extinction of the Jedi for thousands of years. The major retcon is set to establish that Palpatine was in communication with Tor Valum during the events of Revenge of the Sith and even in between episodes 2 and 3. Tor Valum is described to be a Sith god of sorts, where he was created by the fallen wills themselves, and that though the Sith gods don't necessarily interfere with wars directly speaking, they guide other Sith lords to actually do their bidding. Now this major retcon that was Tor Valum's idea to use Order 66 as the perfect plan may seem controversial to some fans and that Disney is working on a way to make it acceptable to fans by the time 2022 rolls around, where all of this is really going to be implemented into the story. So here's the thing about Tor Valum, in case you guys are really out of the loop and are not aware, Tor Valum was a Sith Lord that was created by Colin Trevorrow. Colin Trevorrow, the original director of Episode 9, Duel of the Fates. He was going to be the original new villain in the sequel trilogy after Snoke. And that was, of course, all scrapped because of Kathleen Kennedy. And now you got George, John, and Dave picking up the scraps and putting it into the canon material in different ways. Chapek really wants to do these retcons with George, John, and Dave for the prequel trilogy era. Now, this Sith God, this is very interesting material because... We do believe in the concept of the rule of two, right? That really is a big deal in Star Wars. A Sith God, for example, I'm not quite sure if you can really count him towards being a regular Sith per se. They're really going to have to explain exactly what a Sith God is. Now, the one thing that we do know about this character is that he was created by the Fallen Wills, who are basically dark side deities, if you will, of the Star Wars universe. Now, George Lucas created the Wills, who are the ones who created the universe in the very beginning. And then you got the Fallen Wills, which are going to be a creation by Disney. Now, the Fallen Wills are the other side of the Wills. 
These are the dark side version of the gods that created the Sith, so to speak, these Sith gods like Tor Valum. Now, Tor Valum is going to be further explained in these new retcons for, of course, Revenge of the Sith and the prequel trilogy overall and how he guided Palpatine to fulfilling Order 66 and really making it happen from the very beginning to the very end where the Jedi were nearly extinct, right? So, let me know what you guys think about this entire scenario below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.